All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to create an AI digital clone of yourself using HeyGen and Eleven Labs. You can use digital clones to scale your content, whether that's customer support content, sales content, social media content, where you need an avatar of yourself. Um, and so make sure you watch to the end because we'll be breaking down the exact process that we're using here at the recap to use you know, AI digital clones to scale short form social media content like this. Um, and so with that, let's jump in. All right, so first things first, you're gonna wanna go to HeyGen and create a free account if you don't already have one. Um, I have a paid account here, but you can sign up for free and get going completely for free. Um, the other thing is you're going to want to have your video already shot that you're going to wanna clone. Now, it doesn't have to be professional video, but keep in mind your digital clones video will be exactly how your training video um, is set up. So if you want it to look professional, you should take time to set up a professional shot like you see I have here um, to train the clone of yourself. All right, so here we're in HeyGen and we're gonna wanna go to the avatars tab and we'll go into create new avatar and what we're gonna wanna do is create a hyper realistic avatar. Um, and you can see here, you're gonna create your digital twin. So let's get started. Again, HeyGen's gonna walk you through this process. Um, you're gonna wanna use the right equipment, the right environment. As I mentioned, your, your training video is going to be what your avatar looks like. So um, that's the first step before actually jumping in. And then you're going to drag and drop your training video into HeyGen. And so I'm using this as my training. And so we'll bring that in. Um, I would not I would keep these checked um, and then go to next. Then you're gonna want to, HeyGen's gonna have you record kind of like a personal, like I allow this to happen. Um, so we'll do that now. And then once you have all those changes live, you'll see that we have our digital clone um, that's HeyGen generated based on that training content. So it's actually super, super easy. Um, you really just need the video that you want to clone and then your AI clone will be ready. All right, once we have our digital cl video clone in HeyGen, we can go over to 11 labs to build our voice clone. And then we're gonna be able to pair the two when we're generating video from a script. So here in 11 labs, you're gonna to have to likely upgrade to a paid account, but it's not that expensive. Um, you'll go to your voices and you'll go to create or clone a voice and you'll use the professional voice clone is what I did. Um, and you'll need 30 minutes of clean audio of you talking like this, just cleanly um, for it to create the you know, lifelike um, voice clone of yourself. You can also do the instant voice voice clone, I think for free, which isn't going to be as accurate, um, but still works. And so it's pretty simple. You'll just upload the audio uh, and follow their prompts, and then you'll get your professional voice, which you can see if I go to my voices here, I have uh, my voice cloned here. So once you have done that within 11 labs, we're gonna go back into HeyGen and go to AI Voices, and we're gonna do Integrate Third-Party Voice. And you'll bring over your API key from 11 labs, and then you'll be able to import the voice um, that you uh, cloned from 11 labs. And so you can see I have already done this uh, here, David Camera Pro. Um, by integrating 11 labs with HeyGen. And so that's it. Now we're really ready to create a video and generate a video with my voice and my AI avatar. So, you know, we can create in landscape or portrait mode for the content that we're doing here. It's mostly social media content. So we'll use the portrait mode. We'll select the avatar that I used, you know, and then you can start, um, editing here in the HeyGen interface. We'll center up my clone. 
and we'll go to the script and we can feed me a script that I'm going to say. Let's just use this script that I have pre-saved here, uh, which kind of resembles some short form content. We'll then change the voice to my voices. And again, we're going to want to use the David Kemmer Pro. And there we are. And so we have that script that that's what's going, uh, I'm going to say. And let's call this AI clone test and submit. And now HeyGen is going to render and generate, you know, a portrait style video of my digital clone with my cloned AI voice from Eleven Labs speaking um, that script that we just entered. Um, and so let's see how it turns out. All right, and here we are. We can see that uh, Hey Jen finished generating the video, and here you can see it's using my AI avatar clone and my voice. So let's listen for a second. Rick Rubin, the music legend who can't play an instrument, just dropped a book with Anthropic called The Way of Code. It's not your average tech manual. It's basically the Tao Te Ching for the AI era. So, not bad. It's obviously not perfect, but. When you're using it for specific types of content, um, it can pass. And, you know, again, whether that's support, social media content, um, it can be very effective. All right. So as I mentioned before, here at the recap, we're using these AI digital clones that you just saw me create to scale short form social media content that we can share on TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, um, and other channels. Um, for example, here... AI held an engineer hostage, and it's terrifying. What if I told you an AI just tried to blackmail its creator to avoid being shut down? During safety testing of Claude Opus... So, you can see that, um, you know, we're generating a high amount of short-form videos um, at scale, generating thousands of impressions that are driving traffic back to the, reca the recaps um, media properties. So let's break down the actual process that we're going through to do this. Uh, so here's how it works um, in kind of a flow chart. So what we're doing is we're looking across Twitter, the Google News API, Hacker News, Reddit, and a bunch of other um, news channels. And we're feeding that into our AI system that is essentially flagging what are the most interesting news stories in the AI space happening today or over any given time frame. Then we pass that text data into a prompt that says, okay, well, based on the most interesting story, generate me a short form video script specifically for TikTok style videos. And the AI generates um, that script for us. And so we get a short form video script. We then enter that into HeyGen, as you saw me do, and generate what's known as like the A roll, the, the main piece of content, which is me. We then, we then pass the generated A-roll to a video editor who splices together um, you know, B-roll clips um, with my AI digital clone and the voiceover talking through that script. And we can generate these extremely quickly, much faster than would be possible um, you know, without using AI. All right, so if you want that full system, including the prompts and exactly how we're generating this short form style video, um, as I just walked through, um, you can get it completely for free um, in our AI Automation Mastery community. You can join completely for free and then download uh, all of that system, all those prompts, including a bunch of other um, resources and automations for many various different business functions and workflows. Um, so be sure to join the AI Automation Mastery community. There'll be a link in the description below. Um, like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time.